Why hello there you sexy piece of everyone, welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil Revelation. So right now we are in a cemetery below the tower, and it looks like we have some kind of a puzzle to do. Okay, it looks like we have a note, a, eul a eulogy for my brethren. We follow Master Alex to this island of Zabziti, which she has codenamed number, six, uh, number 46. Our efforts have brought prosperity to the island, but more than that, we have come to help the Master achieve her goal of rebirth. You have performed splendidly in your task, even in your final task to provide the Master with valuable data at the cost of your own lives. We are bonded in our servitude to the Master. I consider you my colleagues and my friends. I will help the Master to finish the work which we have all started. I promise that your sacrifices will not be in vain. May you rest in peace. Or rest in pieces, as they say. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, that looks like a mummy. Goody. Okay, what's this? Alcohol? Is that another note? Yes, it is. Alright, release our sworn comrades. If you wish to know the truth, swear your allegiance in order. Only then can you cast away your shackles of shame, uh, of sin. To the first, you were always foolish. So I'm guessing this is like a hint for a puzzle. So let's see. To the first, you were always foolish. So you will have no grave. Okay, let me, let me write this shit down. This is important shit. Alright, first. Uh, foolish. No grave. Uh, second. Okay, a uh, visage. So a uh, visage is like a f like a mask. Okay, number three. You shall neighbor the four by three, but one row behind. Oh my god. Okay, let me see. To the third, you shall neighbor the four. So it's gonna be the fourth. And one row behind, and to the f wait. Okay. Ah, this is confusing. Oh god. To the fourth you shall lose your head. Okay, this is not good. This is not good indeed. I have a feeling I want- I'm gonna die a lot. Gunpowder? Yeah, sure, why not. Okay, let's take a look at this area. It's open, so why not? We have all this inventory space. Now I'm guessing we're gonna come up to a locked door and we have to do something at the cemetery to maybe get a key. That's what I'm thinking. I bet you guys a dollar that this is locked. Damn it. <laughs> I was kidding guys, you know me. Okay, I bet you guys a dollar that this door is locked. There's a red light. God damn it. Really? Really? Well, shit. Oh, okay, this area looks friendly. Looks relatively clean. There's no blood. There's no. Ooh. There's no blood. There's no gore. Okay, let's keep going. Now we're gonna look around this entire area because it looks like there's a lot of ammo. Yep, there's another crate right there. And we are sort of low on ammo. There we go. Okay, let's continue taking a look around here. Yes, indeed. Okay, I think this is, uh, I think this is everything. Alright, let's go. Uh... Okay, let's go upstairs here to check it out first. Oh, this... Oh. Hello. Don't mind me, I see you're just hanging around. <laughs> oh, by the way, you told that joke already before. Eh, I know, I know. Okay, let's take the green, uh, red herb. Let's combine the shit. Bam! Combined. Alright, let's move some shit over to Mara.
Uh, well, let's let's give her the pistol ammo because obviously we don't have a pistol. All right. <laughs> what is this, is anyway? An admiral? Okay. Let's take a look at this note. Okay, let's see. Steward's Valediction. Master Alex. It has truly been an honor and a blessing to have served under you these past few decades. I consider myself lucky to have been witness to your scientific genius and your vision of future. The world does not need order. Oh wait, the future does need order and I believe it is you and only you who is capable of accomplishing this feat. I as well as the other researchers are all bonded together in this belief. To ensure your survival, we have worked tirelessly to complete the transfer procedure. The vessel we have selected is without fault. I have every confidence the procedure will go flawlessly. Oh, this is a lot of text. To come this far, we have we had to make countless sacrifices. My faith in your vision is resolute, so I am prepared myself to shoulder the mental and emotional burdens of the sins that I have that I would be committing. But I do believe that before your plan can succeed, we must first atone for our sins. So I have taken the necessary steps for atonement. The remaining researchers have been dealt with, and I too shall soon follow. I'm guessing they all blow each other's head off. This will also help you to perform the procedure without any distractions. On behalf of those who have served faithfully by your side, we are grateful for your opportunity to help you accomplish your ambitions. Eternally your loyal servant, Stuart. Now I'm guessing this guy is Stuart. Oh, poor guy. Does he have any items? Maybe he has some like a uh, adult magazine stashed away in the book bookcases? Okay, let's go. Oh, another note. Wow, there's a lot of reading in this episode. Instructions for Stuart. Stuart, the samples have arrived from Africa. The infection rate is extraordinarily high. It has a lot of potential. I would have expected nothing less from a fellow Wesker. And get this to the research chief and have the staff start working on it immediately. It's only a matter of time before the t Phobos is completed. I have everything I need for the final stage of my plan. Okay. So I'm guessing there's nothing important in here. Hey, what the hell is this rod? Can I pick this up? Nope, okay, whatever. Hey, did I draw it out? Oh, silly me. Alright. Now, um, before we go up the stairs... This stairs, uh, I think there's other stairs. There's so many stairs, it's so hard to keep track of. <laughs> Let's take a look at this stair. Still no sign of your boyfriend. Shut up. He's not, He's my... not my boyfriend. Yeah, exactly. He's... All right. Shit. Look, there's something I gotta tell you. You like? I noticed something when Neil was with us. His bracelet never changed color. I mean, the living dead were coming at us from all directions. He must have been scared. No. No, no. There's no way. Got it? End of discussion. Jeez, Claire, you're so close-minded. So this is exactly what I suspected from the start. I suspected Neil of being the one that's gonna be backstabbing us, selling us out. It's always the one that disappears, you know. Fuck. Alright, I think this room's safe. It's always the one that disappears without explanation. Okay. This oh. list. Neil had it at the party. Guilty! Barton, Chavez, Redfield. It's got all our names on it. Oh, he sold Tara Safe out. <sighs> See, I told you guys. Claire, I told you guys. I'm really It's sorry. so obvious. Hey, look. What? Oh, hello, Neil. That son of a bitch. Okay. Wait, is this the end of the episode? Ooh. All right. I've isolated the best canton. Good work. Now it's your turn to fulfill your end. Oh. Oh. Uh, what did you? He's dead. Uh, no. You an Uroboros sample. Now you've got it. Lapdog. No. We gotta you fight Neil. Shit about me. 
I know you were Lansdale's puppet. When Veltro incited the Terra Grigia panic seven years ago, the FBC was pulling the strings. The old man went down, but he was smart enough to pass the torch before he did. You played me. Oh, what a player. Because you're an idiot. You thought you could create a new terrorist threat to justify the FBC. A monster like you could never understand. Oh god, we need to fight Neil. I am not looking forward to this. Fucking hell. Well, maybe we don't have to fight him. Barry might have to fight him. Claire? Are you crying? No. I'm... Are you easy? I'm just learning to see a little more clearly. <laughs> I can see clearly now. The... I forgot the lyrics for that. How, how embarrassing. I can see clearly now the sky. Oh god, okay, forget it. A letter to my compatriots, my fellow visionaries. The time has finally come, everything has gone as I said it would. All that remains is for her to hold up her end of the bargain, and then I can finish what we started seven years ago. This one little sample is is all I need to change the world, but the world is already changing, but not in a good way. Yeah, I agree, you know, everyone's getting to live longer, they're getting fatter, yeah, I agree. The latest inc incident in Africa is this proof. This kind of madness will keep repeating itself until nothing is left but tragedy and despair. The world needs someone to take charge and lead it through these dark times. Lansdale was right, of course. What we need to do in Terra Grigia People call him a villain, but he's a hero. He was trying to save us. I understood that. As do you. I am I will do whatever it takes to realize his vision, so he was the only one to see that the sacrifices were needed and that something good can be built on them, even if it means dealing with the devil herself to do it. Okay, so it looks like we have a bench, even though we have nothing to upgrade with. Yeah, we don't have any parts. Kind of strange, actually. Okay, let me check the drawers. Good thing we checked the drawers. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, yep, that's Neil. You know what, uh, I think this is a good place to pause. I think, uh, you know, we should always pause before something important happens so we have plenty of time to um, uh, play without getting rushed. But anyways, I invite them. I hope you six a piece enjoy it. And if you did, uh, you know, do the usual. Bang that like and subscribe button and leave a sexy comment or two. So who here who was watching this with us uh, kind of f f knew that Neil was going to be the one that would backstab us? That's, that's, that's what I want to know. Who of you guys knew it? <laughs> Anyways, I am better. Stay sexy, my friends. Stay sexy.